Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Let's Erase Domestic Violence show. Just friends, in the show, we are bringing you stories where we are having all those achievers who have faced some form of domestic violence and they have fought it against it and come out as achiever. We want to share their story so that the message goes to all those women who are suffering in silence, that the world is not ending for them there. They can do much in life because life is beautiful. So let's welcome Emma Jane Taylor from UK London. She is author, keynote speaker, child sex abuse activist, and CEO of The Works Company. Her tagline, too positive to be doubtful, too optimistic to be fearful, and too determined to be defeated. Emma Jane is a CEO of The Works Company and became the face of the well-being show for That's TV, she now presents Talk the Taboo on YouTube, Spotify podcast, The Wellbeing Show, and The Power Hour for River Radio. Welcome, Emma, to the show. Hi, Charu. Thank you very much for having me with you here today. Thank you so My much pleasure. for giving your time, Emma. I'm really grateful to you. I really want you to share about yourself. Can you share about the struggle which you have been through, the domestic violence in your childhood? Yeah, so... Um, as you were saying, you know, uh, um, at the beginning there, you know, it's how you go through these journeys and it's how that you come out the other side. I was sexually abused at nine years old. I was then groomed and abused from 11, 12 years old. And so my normal was to be treated badly. And so I accepted this. I allowed that to be my life because at those ages, you don't actually know what else to do because you're so young and you're so vulnerable you you are being guided by adults but when the the treatment by the adults changes you have no vocabulary to change with it so you just go with it must be really challenging time emma how the wall has impacted you from your childhood as you were teen then adult can you share some insights sorry how did i get through it all yeah, the, how it impacted you as you were growing up, how it affected you. Yeah, so, you know, anyone who's gone through any <clears throat> troubles like this will have their own challenges. Uh, yes. challenges. You know, for me, it was, I lived in constant fear of being hurt, constant, I was constantly paranoid, looking over my shoulder, waiting for the next episode uh, to happen. I had OCD, I was paranoid, I had eating disorders, I was a really nervous child, I was always shaking, quite, quite often I would be sick, um, I drank a lot, I took drugs, and I became a very naughty child, and actually I wasn't a naughty child, I was a really nice child, and then suddenly it changed. But, you know, when I was growing up, we didn't have the language that we do now around mental health and conversation. So, you know, no one really knew what to do with me. And they, you know, there were some simple things that could have happened. So I just, I just lived in this sea of darkness and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, most people thought I'd be dead or in prison by the time I was 20. Uh, fortunately, neither, because I'm here today telling the tale. So, but yeah, it was a very difficult time. It was, it was a very bleak and dark time. And I think, you know, if I could have suffered from it, I did suffer from it and disassociation and all the other the horrible other things that come with it um, were just plaguing me 24 hours a day. Must be tough time, Emma. I'm sure many women across the globe can relate to this and they must be facing those challenges. Now, I really want you to share the tools which helped you out to manage all the anxiety on the stress and you really helped yourself to grow and to achieve things which you have achieved today. So please share about all those tools which have helped you. Okay, so um, when I left school, senior school, my headmistress said, you're a failure. You're going to go nowhere in life. And that is how I then lived my life, thinking I was a failure, drank, drinking all the time, taking drugs, uh, just in, in no end positions, just just really kind of feeling the pain, every 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 inch of pain that I was being being sent, I was feeling it. And I had a when I was around 19, um, there was two trigger, the two light bulb moments, actually two moments that made me really change my life. And it was here that I went, you know what? I don't, I'm not, I'm not the girl going nowhere. I'm not the failure. 
uh, I'm, I've never been that person. There's more to me. So I took a big plunge when I was in my early 20s, when I was about 22, 23. And I, and I rang up a therapist who was a talking therapist. And I, and I booked someone who was right out of town so I wouldn't have to bump into her. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a course with her and then I'll feel better. Uh, so I was 22 then I'm 49 this year and I would say for the last 30 years you know 25 years or so um, my journey has grown and flourished because I've understood what I needed so for me it was very much about finding a therapist but not just one therapist I had a heap load of therapists I've did I've done everything from acupuncture to hypnotherapy to reiki to psychotherapy to psychiatric to sound um gonging to eft to pick I mean you name it I've done it so it was about going you know what do I need well I need a whole kit here um so I found talking really helpful I thought differently and my thinking changed and you know when anything came in that was slightly difficult, challenging, negative, I would stop and work out a way that I could put a positive spin on that. And, you know, those are the tools I was given through the different therapies that I've done. So for me, it was an A to Z of therapy and also um, respecting that I, I was going to be very different to the next person. So don't, don't, don't think that you're like the next person, be you, because your journey is relative. Uh, full. Take a note, friends, all the tools Emma has shared, word is not ending for you. It's just about the power of choice. If you make choice to take a decision that, yes, you can improve in life, go to a therapist, go to a counselor, talk to them, see other ways. EFT is there. And then there are so many other ways of meditation, yoga. You can really come out of the challenges, the mental taboos which are there. So it's no more a taboo to go to a counselor. It's no more taboo to go to a, counselor, a therapist to share your grief and then come out of it. So here we are having an achiever who has achieved so much today in life. After going through all that struggle, why not you? So do take a note, friends. So yes, Emma, for your mindset, if there's something you can share, how you strengthen your mindset and you have achieved so much today. Yeah, so, you know, I really focused on what I needed to survive and what I needed to do, engage in positive energy to change and engage with opportunities with open arms. So, um, you know, uh, I needed love, I needed kindness, I needed care, I needed to remember that I was worth it, and that we should never doubt ourselves. And so when I took those with me, it allowed me to grow my business, to expand my opportunities to be here today, I've written a book, I'm writing my second book, um, I've got some huge, I've, I've spoken at the House of Commons, my story has been in the national press, I'm growing and growing and growing with me as a team growing and growing with me as a, as, a, as a network growing and growing, but we're all working together. And so it's about changing your mindset, never doubting yourself and, and, and remembering that you're worth it, you know, and, and, and like you said at the beginning, beginning, I'm too positive to be doubtful, too optimistic to be fearful and too determined to be defeated. So what are your words? Yes, so powerful. Take a note, friends. Self-acceptance and compassion for self. Powerful tools for you. Once you start accepting yourself and give love to yourself first, I think life will change. So these tools are really important and powerful to follow it and change your life. Last question, Emma. What advice would you give to those who have faced the challenges? Just... Just to remember your story is different, you're unique, your world is, you know, we have, it's all relative. So, you know, like I say, never doubt yourself. Remember you are worth it. And there is an opportunity for you somewhere if you can just change that mindset and take, take, it, take yourself out of that negative uh, place and move it into yeah. a positive. Just something little can change and it will make such a big difference to your life. I love that answer, Emma. Powerful, inspiring, and motivating. Do take a note, friends. Listen to this talk many times and just change your life. Life is beautiful. Don't stop yourself in achieving big in life. Thank you so much, Emma, for your time. I wish you all the best and all success in your life. Take care. And you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you.